How are political and business leaders frequently described in the Bible? Evil national leaders are pictured in the Bible as predatory wild animals, political frauds. For instance, Daniel had a vision of four successive empires, Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greco-Macedonia, and Rome, and their kings were all pictured as beasts. Those great beasts, which are four, are four kings which arise out of the earth. Evil rulers take and oppress. Good rulers give and set people free. How many kings, prime ministers and presidents today could be described as predatory beasts? What about national rulers throughout human history? Like a roaring lion and a charging bear, is a wicked ruler over poor people. Does this sound like many nations today? It's interesting that no matter what we call our political system, democratic, federal republic, communist, socialist, or oligarchy, the end result can be the same. The strong oppress the weak and build enormous hordes of tainted wealth on the backs of the oppressed poor. Is this the way it's supposed to be? A prophecy of Ezekiel speaks to all our nations today. The highest ethical standards don't change, and all humanity has failed to uphold them. Will God judge predatory leadership? Now, son of man, will you judge? Will you judge the bloody city? Yes, show her all her abominations. They've mistreated the fatherless and the widow. They take bribes to shed blood. You take usury and increase. You've made profit from your neighbors by extortion. Her princes in her midst are like wolves tearing the prey to shed blood, to destroy people, and to get dishonest gain. The people of the land have used oppressions, committed robbery, and mistreated the poor and needy, and they wrongfully oppressed the stranger. Politics and business go hand in hand. In the business world, there are many ways to make a dishonest income. Business fraud is represented by dishonest scales. Dishonest weights and measures are as ancient as commercial trade. There's nothing new about rigging a weighing machine to cheat the consumer. What are they? Dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Ancient merchants had two different sets of weights for their weighing machines. One accurate to show an inspector and a second to swindle customers. What are such diverse weights? Diverse weights are an abomination to the Lord, and dishonest scales are not good. Israel was granted the promised land, in part because the previous occupants were totally depraved, even sacrificing their own children to their gods. Archaeology reveals the extent of this atrocity to be very great. Canaanite merchants were also known for their corruption in trade. Calling a merchant a Canaanite was an insult derived from their deceitful reputation. A cunning Canaanite, deceitful scales are in his hand. He loves to oppress. The prophet Amos records a time when the people could not wait for the festivals to be over so that they could get back to making more money in deceitful ways. What did that include? Falsifying the scales by deceit. Even in the church, some people justify their dishonesty in business with excuses. But what does the judge of all have to say about such people? Shall I count pure those with the wicked scales and with the bag of deceitful weights? Lies destroy nations and business. Political and business fraud will soon pass 
a kingdom's coming where only righteous practices will exist. Do you want to be there? You decide.